What's up? My name is Matt. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Today, I wanted to share one of my all-time favorite Lightroom hacks. When you're editing, sometimes the ambient light in the room can have a big effect on the final edit of your photos. And when I'm getting ready to deliver a gallery to a client, I sometimes see the gallery and it's a little bit too cool or a little bit too warm or a few stops underexposed. And that requires me to do a global adjustment. When you're in the develop module, you can copy settings directly from one image to the other. But when I finish a whole gallery, I don't need to do the direct copy. I need to do a global adjustment that only bumps up the photo a couple of stops from its original settings. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So why don't we hop into Lightroom here. Um, right now I'm currently in the develop module. These are just a couple of images from a set we delivered. Um, the shoot was in Yosemite, it was a engagement session. And these photos are all finished. So just for um, demonstration's sake, uh, we grab these images and pull them in. So first thing we're gonna do is go into the library module of Lightroom. And I'm just gonna select all of these images. And all you really have to do, it's a pretty simple, uh, pretty simple technique here. You come into the quick develop section and you can have all of your basic adjustments here. So let's say that these images were all a couple of stops exposed. You can either go up a third of a stop or a full stop. So let's just go up two thirds of a stop. Actually, you know what? Let's go up a couple stops just to show you the difference. So we can come into develop. Obviously they look like crap now because um, I just blew them way out, but I wanted to do that so I could show you the difference. Here is the original image we started with on the left and the new image on the right after we made that global adjustment. So that's really the whole trick. I, I'll do that sometimes. Most, most of the time I use that for, I'd say white balance and exposure the most. That's how I usually finish images if, if they were just a couple stops underexposed or overexposed. All right, so that's my Lightroom hack. Let me know in the comments. Hopefully it helped you out. We're hoping to do a lot more content like this. So do us a favor, stop by that like and subscribe button and uh, get involved. Let us know what you think. Uh, we got a lot more episodes just like this coming out soon.